Um, <laughs> so you came – I told them that you went to button this Yes, weekend. button Amazon. And you come in here now to tell us what was the big item in your gift bag. <laughs> really? That's what you brought me in for? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the gift bag, it would have been uh, probably a Blu-ray of something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, I think there was another item in your gift bag. That, that actually wasn't in the gift bag, for oh. what it's worth, uh, if we're getting technical here. No, uh, we, we saw the movie uh, Hobo with the Shotgun, which was the uh, the Grindhouse trailer winner. I don't know if you guys saw that. They, nope. The original Grindhouse, or not the original, but the Grindhouse movie with Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez, uh, Death Proof and Planet Terror or whatever. Do you remember when that mm-hmm. came out? They did, a, D- they did a, a contest for the DVD where they were looking for fake trailers for people on the internet or people wherever to make, send in, and they would pick like the best three, then put them on the DVD. The winner of that contest was a trailer called Hobo with a Shotgun. Which is a great trailer. And anyway, uh, that ended up winning and went on the DVD. And the people who made it actually made a full-length feature called Hobo with a Shotgun. I just want to point out this story does not need this much setup. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, Jack has a way of telling a story that makes me never want to hear a story again. <laughs> no. cool. All right, thanks, guys. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> so what was in the gift bag that was from... So right before the movie started, uh, Harry came on stage and was like, so every hobo needs one thing. They need a bottle of booze, and they need a way to pleasure themselves. So they need two things. Two things. Whatever. <laughs> what, what did I say? Did I say one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, this is how Harry Knowles thinks. So the, Everybody uh, needs one thing, 40 cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the wait staff then comes by and starts dropping what looks like flashlights face down on uh, in front of the guys on our, our table. Like everyone in the theater, all the guys got this thing looking like a flashlight. And uh, pretty quickly, people started realizing if you unscrewed where the lens would be in the, fl- in the flashlight, there was a rubber vagina. So it's a flashlight. You, so, well, hold up. So you got a flashlight. The comic you, is now true. Is that right? You weren't kidding. The other day I went to lunch with Jack. Oh, no, no. I was not kidding. And I got uh, uh, Jack was like, you want to drive or should I drive? And I said, you drive, Jack. So we get in the car and there's some shit on the passenger seat, seat and I just start moving and he's like, oh, be careful with my flashlight. I'm like, haha, whatever. There really was a that, flashlight that was, in there. That was a flashlight. <laughs> I how, thought you were just uh, fucking with me. No, I hadn't taken it No, he's fucking with yet. the flashlight. How is it, Gross, by the way? I need to go wash my uh, hands. I, I, I don't plan on using it, but it's at my house. What, what is that? How ungrateful. I'd use it. Bring it to the <laughs> office. But anyway, the, uh, the, instead of, the women got uh, little, like, uh, fleshlight vibrators, I guess. Like, little, like, sort of pocket rocket things, too, so... The, the, so the guys got flashlight. The women got little. Like, you think anybody little, used it during the buttonomathon? I, I, I Jeff, if you'd been there, I bet you would have done it just for effect. I'd do it. Fuck yeah, they give it to you. It's meant to be used, right? You're gonna be in there for. 20, I'm supposed to go 25 hours without getting off. That's terrifying. Fuck that. <laughs> it's like popcorn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, 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 if you let it get cold, it's no good. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't know this, but do you know flashlight is based here in Austin? Like they they make those here in Austin. Listen to that enthusiastic trivia. He's <laughs> on us. No, 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 I did not know that. One of the guys who went to Butnamathon works there, I guess. And they literally like the, they they gave them to us not wrapped or anything. Apparently, he pulled them literally right off the line. Like they just put them into a big basket and took so them right off the line. So, so they're, they're fresh. fresh. <laughs> this portion of the podcast brought to you by Fleshlight. Fleshlight, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is that, is that the end of my stay here? And the new product line where you can shove dick rods up your dick hole. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jack. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Thanks, How was Buttonomathon? What was the best movie you saw at Buttonomathon? Buttonomathon was awesome. Uh, True Grit was probably the best movie I saw, which is actually the first movie we saw, too. Uh, the Fighter is fantastic. Uh, that's uh, Mark Wahlberg and, and Christian, Christian Bale, Bale, right? Yeah. Fantastic movie. It's coming out, I think, this, this week. Uh, we saw Green Hornet, which was surprisingly good. It's it's a comedy superhero movie that's rated R. When does that come out? That comes out, I want to say, f- it's January, February? Yeah, okay. it's a, it's I thought a it was a ways movie. away. Yeah. It's and a then, weird uh, winter action movie. Yeah. We also saw Tron Legacy. They bust us to the IMAX to see Tron Legacy in 3D. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. We had, like At the very end, Harry's like, grab your stuff. There's buses outside. Get on. I'm not telling you where we're going. And Every- then we went to the Bob Bullock Museum yeah. and saw Tron Legacy. Everyone grab your flashlights. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go was, to the that- museum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am happy, though, because uh, it's Jonah is the kid's name. And he is a Patillo, so the, the Patillo name will live on. It was my, my uncle's son, my so the, cousin. So the pressure's off you. Now. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about you know, <laughs> There's no, no pressure to keep the family name alive. It's good. Yeah. We're don't, good to go for at least one more generation. Don't have to marry the fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. Fucking zing. God damn it. Did you hear about this, Gus? No, what? no. I only shared it with you out of confidence. Okay. Well, you should never share anything with me. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I totally learned that. No, no. I, I care. Yesterday, I asked Jack if he we had, had a chance. Com- By the way, we had conversations <laughs> all vacation about you and the fleshlight. Really? Yeah. We're like, do you think he's using it right now? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you tried it out. How was it? I tried it one time. It was, it was good. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say. 
Yeah, uh, but but you should give a review. Give a review. I, I I don't know. It's you know as good or better than normal. I guess than than manual labor. I suppose. <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll probably I'll, I'll never use it again. I'll never. Okay, use but it again. why? Why? Because it's it's a pain in the ass to clean up. Okay. Uh, in, can can just, you put it like in the dishwasher? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> put, on, put on the rack. Uh, no, it's just it's just a pain. It's like you know, it's like you don't want to spend an extra fifteen minutes after you're done being like, okay, now you're at the sink. And, yeah, the know. cleanup process shouldn't be longer than the actual yeah, like, experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's so. the that's the feedback and criticism that Dan Godwin gave it as well when yeah. he tried it. So it. It's a pain in the ass to clean. Well, so, can so. you take it out of the case and like yeah, turn yeah, no, it inside it's, out? It's incredibly durable. I mean, you can like you know mess around with it and stuff. And, yeah, you, you could know, fuck it, with it forever. Yeah, but I mean, can you take it out? turn it inside out almost almost in, I, I almost got it completely inside out just so. like the real thing exactly yeah. What? <laughs> uh yeah but really i mean it's it was good but I, I i wasn't i wasn't blown away i was like oh my god this is the best thing ever <laughs> do you think it would be better without the case because they have them like not fleshlights but ones where it's like a mouth or whatever and there's no like hard plastic case on the outside it's just like a like a soft think, tube essentially well that, that would be what your hand would be grabbing so i don't think that would really but affect think, you at all but then i think that you would be able to like adjust like tightness and strength and everything. Hmm. I don't know. There's no, there's no not, dial. I'm, I'm not planning on getting a whole like selection of them and going through it, but you know, so. Gus and I were looking at the Fleshlight website after we were talking about the Fleshlight the there other day. There are so many. There are a lot. They have this. This is. I don't know why this creeps me out, but they have Navi Fleshlights. Yeah, it looks but weird. Too. They, from, they, they call like, them like blue alien Fleshlights. Yeah, they call yeah. them alien Fleshlight. I'm sure it's not an official, officially endorsed product. Yeah, but no, it's it's pretty bizarre. Well, didn't, didn't they sell that with like the the, the Avatar parody porno yeah, or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. God, but anyway, my review it was it was fun, but I don't I don't know if it's worth it. It's, yeah. They're like ninety bucks, right? Or something Are they like that? They're they're expensive. Wow. Like I don't know if it's it's definitely not worth that. At least not to me. But you said that um, it was as just as good as using a hand or better. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm actually really curious. No, no. I mean, uh, you. I mean, you have to use lube for it. Yeah. And I don't usually use lube, so it's like extra messy. All right, this is too much conversation. So I'm getting creeped out now. Griff is the one brought it up. She I wanted to talk I want to get it. into lube discussion. Come on. Uh, Gross. So anyway, too much too much effort for not enough payoff. Okay. There you go. Especially for the price. I got it for free, and I, I would never pay for it. Okay. So a ringing endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> we can cross them off the list of sponsors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bye bye, Fleshlight. I know they're, they're anxiously awaiting. Like, oh, what's the review going to be? They're they're just up the road. I think I looked. I looked yeah, at, they're here in Austin. Yeah, That's... I looked at their website. You know, when I did the link uh, the link dump for that uh, episode of the podcast, and they're uh, they're they're like right across the street from the hotel Mega sixty four stayed at <laughs> really? when they were here in town. Yeah. They're like right there. If only they would have known. Yeah. No. Uh, apparently, one of the guys who goes to Button Amazon every year, he either works for him or does marketing for him or something, and so he pitched the idea of giving everyone in the theater one, and so that's how they got a hold of them all. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, there you go. And scene. <laughs> By the way, the, the worst moment ever on the Rooster Teeth podcast in the history of all the podcasts was Jack's story about how he used his flashlight. Yeah. That was that was too far. Oh God. So that was bad. I missed that. Did I, tell, yeah. did I, tell, I, I wiped that from my memory yeah. <laughs> until just now. Did, so I, thank did you. I tell you about my encounter with his flashlight? Oh, oh no! no! Do we have to drink when somebody walks you out? Because I'm about to do that. How can you still see? Well, so I, I, I got into his car one day. We're going to lunch and. Uh, you know, he had a bunch of shit on his passenger seat, so I sat down and I was like, moving all off. And I was like, I was like, what's this? Was, oh, that's my flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so, sometimes he gets lonely while you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about roadhead. I thought he was joking, so I just like, oh, ha, ha, and I throw it to the side. And then like the next day, he's like, oh, sorry about that. I was like, what? It really was. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> when uh. I came here last year to visit. The first time I ever came here in March, I stayed with Jack, and uh, I was at his place, and I was in his like computer and whatever, and I'm just sitting there. I'm like, and I look up, and there's just his flashlight just sitting on a shelf. Now, and I was like, what this, the fuck? I gotta defend Jack. It looks like a flashlight. We, you keep talking about his flashlight. flashlight as though he like has an entire walk, brings it around on a leash. Yeah, it was it was sitting on a mantle, okay, in his That's office. It was sitting up on the shelf, and I was like, what's uh, to deal with that? And he's like. That's my flashlight. He's like, I only <laughs> used it once. And I was like, sure, Jack. Sure you did. That's why it was in your car. <laughs> in his defense, I yeah. think when I encountered it in the car is when you had just gotten it and it was yeah. brand new. And he I just wish. used it. He no. likes to leave it in the sun <laughs> so it gets warmed up. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> You're actually supposed this is to the worst put it in water. Ever. I just want to say I started out defending him. So this is 
this. <laughs> this podcast brought to you by Republic Tequila. <laughs> I want to be able to do that thing that Dumbledore does, where he like puts the wand on his head and like pulls out a memory and then puts it in the sink. <laughs> yeah. <and> does. Puts <laughs> it in the sink. <laughs> Whatever that thing Defensive. was. Intensive. Yeah. Uh, sure, yeah, I want to do that so I can cool. like unremember can things. Be sunshine? Well, yes. you have a bottle of that right in front of you, yeah. so <laughs> just get working. But no, Jack got it exactly the way that we're talking about getting them right now. He got them as part of a sponsorship thing at right. an event, and they were he did not know who he was getting a flashlight. He got it. Why? I mean, why yeah. if you got it? Yeah, yeah. It's, put it, his dick in it. it was like in a it's gift bag at a, at a film festival. <laughs> I think. It was at Button a Thon. Oh, it was okay. in a dress when I saw it. That 24 hour film <laughs> festival. <laughs> no, we're sponsored by the tequila, but we're not going to drink any of it. It's okay. Yeah. Like, Jack's not going to use the flashlight. Right. Nope. Winky face. No. Oh. Nice. Not okay, so I do not feel guilty about this at all because, first of all, thanks for having me back on the podcast. It's been a while. <laughs> and second of all, fuck all of you guys. Um, yeah, you yeah. guys been fucking brutal. Don't say that to me. I Jesus tried. fucking Christ, man. Jack, I, the you last listen to that podcast, I tried to help. Yeah, at the you. very end, fuck so you, you just need to say you can defend now. <laughs> it went from it went from <laughs> fleshlights to disgusting. It was like yeah, it's like, what Jack. The, <laughs> it went like I don't know what the fuck happened. Like who did I piss off? But like suddenly the last like three podcasts, you guys been shitting on me. And fuck no, all you guys. No, but, I got the but, beard that was an homage to you. Oh, you, yeah. you said you were trying to defend Jack. I was talking about gross dudes and how gross dudes are. You immediately went to Jack. Straight away. It was yeah, like, yeah. imagine Jack. You, know, you were leading <laughs> no. into the conversation about kissing a dude with a big beard. I go, let's, let's cut to the chase. You're talking about Jack. I did inadvertently. I did inadvertently bring up the flashlight conversation, which the led to fucking Jack. flashlight. God damn! So, <laughs> your tweet, so we've been your tweet made my day when I said, "Jesus like, Christ, guys, guys!" I threw it away. I threw it away. Like we okay, we finally got away from that. I was so happy because like that fucking thing <laughs> we had talked it. about it forever yeah, ago. It, like we had mentioned it. Like it was something I didn't even want to bring up back in the day. And then someone was like, "You have to talk about." it. I was like, "All right, fucking hell!" Because if I wasn't going to say something, someone else would bring it up. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll talk about it and just get it over with." So. <laughs> that followed me around for months and months and was like, God damn it. And then finally I just ignored it and it finally <laughs> fucking went away and no one said anything. And then all of a sudden, like, hey, flashlights. And then, <laughs> God damn, I can't fucking get away from it now. Now everyone thinks I'm like a flashlight connoisseur or something. Well, which is your favorite? Oh, fuck. So, I, so the fun thing was me having to explain to my girlfriend why oh. these guys are talking about flashlights. Does she listen to the podcast? Huh? Now, now she does, yeah. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, you're like, now also I just recently got her onto the website. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to explain this to you because some jackass is going to write <laughs> on your comments. Don't what? explain it. Yeah. And so, and, you know, and I explained it to her. She's fine with it. But anyway, long story short, she, she you broke up with that flashlight long before you met her. She has no reason to be jealous. I do not own a flashlight. It has been thrown away. Okay. All right, I do not own one. Sure. I, I, I mean, mean, I don't believe you, but sure. Well, I do own one, and I poured your water through it. Whoa. Let's stop making I, jokes about I took, that. I took your, uh, yeah, as poured on one end and let it come out the other end, and so you've been drinking that for the past. <laughs> right, so it's a straight shot through? Yeah, right through. <coughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm not sure like a martini shaker. Like, you'd have to cover it and shake it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can't, we can't have another gag podcast. I can't but, do it, guys. I can't but his eyes are going up. You know what's about to happen. I can't so, do it. So we, uh, yeah, I, I was actually contemplating possibly like trying to find the PR guy for a flashlight and see if I get all you fuckers flashlights so it's not just me anymore like everyone's got one but yeah listen, fuck listen, all you guys listen, so, listen, we should listen. save that for the video podcast <laughs> Jack, I I did on the podcast. I even said you got it as part of a promotional yes. thing at another event. That yes. you didn't go out and buy it, and then I even called you. I, I do this from time to time. I'm you saying, did. You, you were not on the podcast, but you were discussed in depth. You, were, you should probably you should probably listen to the podcast yeah. before it comes out. But anyway, so. <laughs> Fuck all you guys. <laughs> Good times. Good so times. now I've got like another six months of waiting this out. And so then I'm sure saying, some jackass will bring it up again. You're saying I deserve my email. Fuck destroyed. yeah. All right. Fuck it, all you fuckers do. <laughs> <laughs> so are we upset? I, feel, I do not feel guilty for that at all. You were like, <laughs> like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was some malice. That was, that was cold blooded. Anyway. Jack's looking me right in the eye. I feel like there's a list now and he's just working. <laughs> I know. <laughs> guys, you're next. It's like some kind of revenge movie. Uh, Who else was on that podcast? Michael? Michael, Barbara. Bro, I think Lindsay was on there. And Monty, I you think. Know. I think you know, he, knows. Yeah. he knows who was on there. 